welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all had a really good week. Today we are going to be doing a product review on some AeroPress filters that I have purchased. So you guys have all been mentioning to me about the metal AeroPress filters. So I've been kind of curious to try them for a while. So I figured why not share it with you guys and uh, we'll see what we think. So everybody is probably used to these paper filters that come with the AeroPress as a standard. I've been using my AeroPress for about a year and a half. Love the results, really happy. But what happens when you go on an adventure or you go traveling and you've got one of these in your bag, there's nowhere to put it and it gets crumpled up, wet. Uh, I know the AeroPress Go does come with a little, little carry case for them, but I've just got the regular AeroPress. Um, and I also wanted to look into some sort of reusable options. So, you know, reducing waste a little bit and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get cracking and see, see how they go. So I've got three different filters. Um, I purchased these online. I will pop the link in the description below as to where I got them from. So the first one is just this regular metal filter that's got small little holes in that one. And this one is a 0.2 millimeter mesh. And this one is a 0.3 millimeter mesh. Um, I can't really see a, like that there's going to be a ton of difference between the two mesh ones, but I'm kind of curious to, to see what happens with those. So without further ado, let's get cracking and make some coffee. Ah! <laughs> It's time to brew some coffee. So we are gonna get funky with Uncle Funker from Extract Coffee. If you haven't tried this already, it is amazing. Uh, it's a natural Colombian bean. And even though it's an espresso bean, it goes really nicely in the AeroPress. It, it tends to be a little bit stronger with uh, espresso beans in the AeroPress. Um, so this one is kind of fruity, so it's really nice. Um, so, we have got 15 grams of each coffee already weighed out and time to brew. So we're gonna start off with our regular metal AeroPress filter, just the standard one. So let's get going. So I'm just gonna pop that in the basket just as you would regular with a paper filter. And I'm gonna add my 15 grams of coffee got some water here as well uh, just off the boil just let it cool for a couple of minutes I'm also going to time um, my extraction and my uh, how long I leave it to to brew so let's go So I'm just gonna pop my water all the way up to the top of the AeroPress. Just gonna give it a little stir, just to make sure all the grounds are fully saturated. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it to brew for a minute, and then our aim is to extract and push down on it for about 30 seconds. Now we just wait. Wait for the coffee to brew. Okay, so it's time to pop the cap on. So one thing I think we'll have to be aware of is it will fall out slightly, using the inverted method at least. So now we're gonna do a 30 second extraction time with this one. One thing I am actually noticing is there isn't a lot of resistance on this filter compared to the paper ones, which maybe it might be quite easy to under extract your brew. So just be careful with that if you are trying them out. Okay, and there we go.
okay, so we've got three coffees to drink that we've brewed. Uh, so first, like, first initial reactions, um, the, the first one, the regular, like, hold 0.2mm standard metal filter, um, there wasn't a lot of resistance, so it felt very easy to push down and almost too fast. I had to actually kind of slow it down slightly. Um, there is a lot of residue on the top of the cup and also at the bottom there looks like there's quite a few very fine kind of grounds in the bottom there which not so keen on the overall look of that one to start with the other two i didn't notice much difference in uh compressing them pushing them down they, they were about the same resistance to be honest um and pretty much spot on that extraction time that we were looking for um, sim similar in appearance as well, there's not many, uh, kind of like, there's not any residue really on the top of those, they're quite clear, they look quite nice. The 0.2 mesh does look slightly darker in colour compared to the 0.3, not sure. So we're just going to give them a try and see what we think. So this is the first one. It tastes a little bit like it's lacking. Um, I mean, the description of these are that they're meant to bring a whole other new uh, kind of body to your coffee, um, a bit more bright and exciting. That to me tastes a bit like a bland coffee. It's it's nice, it's fine, but it's, you know, it's drinkable. Um, so nothing amazing with that one. Uh, we'll go for the second one. Already I'm getting a lot more flavours through on that. There's a lot more of the fruitiness of the coffee coming through, a bit more of what I know with that coffee. Um, it's very exciting. Yeah, quite a nice coffee to drink that one. We'll go for the third one. Not much difference. This one is slightly, almost a bit lighter in taste compared to this one. There's not much difference between the two. Um, to be honest, if you muddled those up, I probably wouldn't be able to tell a difference. So I would probably say either of these two mesh ones are pretty, pretty spot on. I wouldn't go for this one, personally. Uh, I'm just gonna give them a quick stir and taste them again just to make sure everything's uh, mixed in. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can see all of the <laughs> The coffee grounds going around in that one. Mm. It's just lacking quite a lot of flavour, that one. Mm. That one's very good. Yeah, there's not a lot of difference in those two. Just that one's slightly lighter. Um, I can't really choose a favorite between those two because they are like that similar, to be honest. Um, this one for me, definitely a no-go. <laughs> um, these two, I yeah, I wouldn't mind either of those, to be honest. So overall reactions. Um, which do I prefer? Do I prefer the paper? Do I prefer the reusable? Uh, Flavour-wise, I don't really notice a ton of difference between the paper and what these, like these mesh ones, to be honest. Um, if it was between the paper and this one, 100% the paper. Use the paper. <laughs> don't buy this one. It's not great. Um, as far as these two mesh ones go, for, you know, like I, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, sort of carrying it around on travel, stuff like that, it's great. Reusability is fantastic. Um, the one downside to these that I've noticed whilst when I brewed these three, three coffees um, is the cleaning side of it. So with the paper ones, you can obviously just unscrew the cap, pop the puck out, give it a rinse off and you're good to go. With these, you obviously have to be careful not to burn your fingers because they're metal and they're hot. You have to take them out. Uh, you have to 
scrape all the grounds off those, wipe them off, so it is a bit of a pain. It depends whether you like the ease of just being able to pop that into the bin and it's done, or whether you kind of want, you know, if you don't mind and you want the reusability, you want the durability. Um, so yeah, overall verdict, this one is a new Frisbee. That's gone. <laughs> uh, these two, pretty much, yeah, pretty much on par with each other. So I'm going to be reusing, uh, probably using those two myself. If there's anyone out there who just wants to try the um, <laughs> the first filter, then I will be giving it away to whoever whoever wants it. Um, as long as you're in the UK, I'll pop it in the post for you. So get in contact with me, It'll be free of charge. Um, just curious to see what you think. Let me know your findings from it. Have you had a better experience? Have you played around with it a bit more? Um, but overall, these two I'll be sticking with. I don't really think, I mean, Probably once I've finished with these paper filters, I'll probably just be sticking to these because I'm quite impressed with them. Um, I will maybe have a little bit more of a play around with them, see if I can get any different results, maybe try a different coffee with them as well. Um, but yeah, overall, really impressed. Uh, they cost £5.99 each. Uh, like I said, the link is in the description below for those. Um, so go check it out. Um, yeah, I think... I think that's it. That's my overall reaction to these metal filters. Uh, thanks very much guys and I'll see you in the next video. could be here all day.